Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing some clothing for a, a game scene. We're going to be working in Marvelous Designer, and the topic is going to be a 1920s style dress. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, well, we're in Marvelous Designer uh, 7, and today we're going to create a 1920s style, a very basic dress. Okay, a uh, reason for that is that a good friend of mine is creating a, a time period game, uh, 1920s. And, um, you know, for the uh, people in the background, uh, he needs clothing, right? So, uh, let's get started. We're gonna go in, and um, I'm gonna take this symbol right here, and I'm gonna start on top here on the shoulders, and we'll do one here, and we'll do one here. Then we'll drop down to the center line here, to about that depth, move way down until we're happy with the height, which is, about here and then we're gonna go over come on about there yeah we're gonna go over and we're gonna keep it slightly wider on the hips because it has to go around the body as well let's uh, bring it in here bring it up there and then we're gonna bring it up there okay so that's one panel now we're gonna tweak that a little bit uh, oh, that's my simulating button don't worry about that uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this curvy button right here. We're going to click on this panel and we're going to pull it down to make that slightly curved. And then we're going to do the same here. And we'll do the same here. And we'll do the same here. So that's the panel we have, all right? Not too bad. Okay, like I said, very simple, very basic. And then we're gonna go in. We're gonna take that panel and we're gonna right click and go to symmetrical pattern. So now we can drop it in, click right here. And I kept a little bit of a distance so you can see the sewing. We're gonna go to this sewing machine next to this one. And I'm gonna click on this panel, that panel, and we're done. And what happens is you see stitches running in the middle here and that looks fine. Now we need to copy that panel over to the back and adjust it a little bit. So I'm gonna click on it, shift click on it, and click one more time. We're gonna hit Control C and Control V. And we're gonna push that back. Why is that not copying? Oh, there it is, yeah. We're gonna push the copy back Okay, we're gonna take the red arrow. We're pretty close to where we need to be. Oops, looks like I'm spinning it around. We don't want that. Take the green circle and flip it around. Try and keep it level. And then we're gonna push that back again. Come on. The gizmo isn't ideal. Not this one anyway, but We'll get there, okay. So let's uh, bring it in a bit. And we can do the same here, bring that in a bit. Okay, and now that we have that, let's uh, stitch this together, okay. Sewing machine, we're gonna go from here to here. No crossing lines, yeah, that's fine. Here to here, here to here. And then the top piece is Good, good. And now let's go in and simulate. Let's see what we get. Okay, you can see that we need to bring it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset. We're gonna um, take this, this, and this, and this. And I'm gonna click one more time. Let's bring the whole thing up a little bit. Let's see if that helps. It does, yep. So this is a pretty straightforward and easy, simple dress. We do need to tweak it a little bit, okay? So on the back panel, what I wanna do is uh, go in to, uh, let's see, curve points. And I'm gonna take this one, take that little handle. We're gonna bring that in just a bit. And let's bring this one in just a bit as well. Let's do a re-simulate to see if that will improve on the fit and I think it does. Um, 
for some reason it still looks a bit too long I'm not sure but it's not bad for sure okay we've got that center aligned that we need to adjust a little bit and you can just left click and kind of drag on that I think that doesn't look too bad some clothing there that we need to adjust yeah okay so um, yeah that's fine then on the bottom here we want to have some sort of pointy pattern if you will so let's uh, create that that's what you get when you try to hurry go up just a bit and boom there you go so there we have it <clears throat> okay so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to our uh, sewing machine and we're gonna click here and click here which will give lines and we need to take this guy and slightly reposition it I think that looks fine and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in we're gonna take this guy control C to copy control V to paste and we'll put in one right here and let's uh, sew that as well sewing machine one and two and then we want this to be stitched together as well like so and then we're gonna take uh, this guy and this guy, control C to copy, control V to paste. And we'll put the whole thing in here. Click on it. We're gonna move this to the back. Green arrow to flip it around. Come on. Green arrow, yep. Push that back, push that in, yeah, not bad. And then we're gonna go in, we're gonna take our sewing machine again, and we're gonna go boom and boom, 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 and boom and boom. Let's make sure we don't have any crossed lines. I don't think so. Let's simulate, let's see what we get. I think that worked out quite well which is good and then what we can do if you like is put in uh, some sort of waistband okay um, maybe we can even bring this in but it looks like the fits okay so we'll leave it at that so let's uh, take a rectangle and what we can do is uh, click here no I don't want to have a fixed value go away we'll do it this way Whenever you select a rectangle, it's gonna ask you what are the dimensions you wanna use and so forth. So let's do something like this. All right, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and we'll bring it over here. And we'll move it to the back green arrow, flip it around, move it back, move it in, all right, so these need to be stitched together as well of course, so once again, sewing machine one and two, and the other end one and Oops, that's crossed, sorry. Back please. One and two, okay. Now let's see if the length is okay. Uh, let's do a simulation. We can see that it's quite long, so we can uh, tweak that, no problem. We're gonna go in, we're gonna to go to uh, edit curve point. And what we'll do is we'll 
actually just take these in a bit this one as well we'll do the same here and then we'll just uh, move the whole thing a bit let's uh, re-simulate starting to look a bit better uh, but it looks like we need to keep this guy straight okay so we're gonna go and take this and what we'll do is we'll uh, make it a rectangle simulate we can take our hand here put it into place if you will you can see that's dropping down a little bit but not too bad so yeah this uh, looks okay and that is basically it guys so it's not that hard uh, like I said it's very much trial and error unless you are actually working on actual clothing but for a 3d model it, it looks fine okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go up to uh let's do file and we'll do export and uh i'm going to export as an obj and we'll call this uh, a lady with dress why not i'll uh, save it on my desktop couple of things we can do let's see all patterns all avatars that's fine um, all right all right all right I just want to make sure it's gonna be outputted in millimeters that's okay and uh, yeah I think it's good so let's uh, do that and let's open it up in Maya here we go okay guys well we're in Maya as you can see I did a quick uh, texture on the dress and you can see that it uh, turned out okay so uh, yeah hopefully this video helped you uh, and if it did please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future and that said thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time bye well thanks for watching and before you go please hit that mh button to subscribe okay see you guys next time bye